Baruch chapter 4 verse 1 This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh And the law that endure forever All they that keep it shall come to life But such as leave it shall die Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it Walk in the presence of the light thereof That thou mayest be illuminated I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp, and this lesson is going to be entitled, We Are the Biblical Hebrew Israelites. We are the Biblical Hebrew Israelites. All right, now you got uh, this guy, Vocab the Devil Malone, you know, through his recordings and videos recently, really just pouring out his uh, true spirit, you know, of his hate toward us Hebrew Israelites. And you got Vocab, he's mad as hell, you know, and he hates the fact that we boast that we're those people. All right, he hates that fact. That we boast that. Matter of fact, let me get a quick precept and I'll come back to Baruch 4. I want to grab uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the second chapter, and um, read a quick verse here. Let's see. Right, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 12. It says, Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. Who is saying this? Who Whose mindset is this? This is these Edomites, okay? You know, you have these international bankers, these elites, all right? Starting with the house of the Rothschilds. You know, they go back to being the house of Esau. They the ones who this world was given to, all right? Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So it says, therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn. He is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us with our offending the law and objective to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. All right. Scriptures say the portion of Jacob is not like them. So the, that portion is the elect that's not like, OK, the rest of Israel. And there's uh, the ones who were sanctified for salvation from the very beginning. They're not like, you know, the other Israelites and they're not like, you know, to follow after Esau's ways. So they do what they objective to their to Esau's infamy, the transgressions of their education. All right. They abradeth uh, them with their with their offending the law. All right. Esau offends uh, us every day. He set up his own laws. So anyway, it says he professes to have the knowledge of Yahweh and he calleth himself the child of the Lord. You see? So that clearly, you know, this is vocab Malone. Okay? Wisdom of Solomon's second chapter. He's upset the fact that we're calling ourselves the Israelites, which is true and is manifesting before his eyes. All right? And he's mad. He professes to have the knowledge of Yahweh. And he calleth himself the child of the Lord. He was made to reprove our thoughts. And guess what, vocab? The prophets start with our elders, apostles here at Great Millstone. You know, start with Apostle Tahar. They were what? Made to reprove your thoughts. You got taught in those uh, theologian schools, paid all that money. You know, you came out here to, you know, to irritate the Israelites and try to confound the word of the Lord and the men speaking discredit us like we're nothing but guess what the men of the Lord were made to reprove your thoughts he was grievous unto us even to behold so yeah vocab you know he's saying we're, he, we're grievous unto him alright because we teach that we're the Hebrew let's say the biblical Hebrew Israelites it says, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. That's talking about the elect, the prophets, the men of the Lord. 
all right, who out teaching his word in sincerity and truth. It says, we are esteeming him of him as counterfeits. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounces the end of the just to be blessed and maketh his boast that Yahweh is his, is his father. This is vocab all the way, man. All right. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Yeah, we look at you as fakes, man. We look at you Edomites as fakes because you're liars. You know, your deception, your your uh, white supremacy, plantation slavery doctrine that you pushed upon us. All right. You're counterfeits. You're not the real deal. You're not the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. It says he abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. Everything that these Edomites do is filthy. It says he pronounces the end of the just to be blessed. And we do. And he maketh his boast that Yahweh is his father. And we make that boast that the heavenly father is our father. Okay. Let us see if his words be true. And let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. So their goal, you know. Their sole purpose is to, to be the opposition and to try to try us out as gold in the fire and to see if the most high words is true or to see if our words is true. They're basically provoking the Lord. You know, they want to put their hands on us eventually to see if the Lord would deliver us. It says, for if the just man be the son of Yahweh, he will keep he will help him. And deliver him from the hand of his enemies. See? Let us examine him with the with despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. So eventually this is what it's coming down to. And vocab ain't nothing but that snake that's peeking his head up. But there's many other more snakes. Alright, he's just that that fall guy. You know? It says, let us condemn him with a shameful death. For by his own sayings, he shall be respected. So really, in, in vocab's heart and the rest of them, okay, they want blood. They want to kill the Lord's chosen people. Because why? We have woken up and learned the truth. Such things they did imagine and were deceived, for their own wickedness have blinded them. You see? So they was blinded by their own wickedness. As for the mysteries of Yahweh, they knew them not, neither hope they for the wages of righteousness, nor discern a reward for the blameless souls. For Yahweh created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death in the world, and they that do hold on his side do find it. So everyone that's on vocab Malone's side and these Edomite side keep uplifting and pushing white supremacy. The scriptures say, nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. And they that do hold on his side do find it. See that? So it's death on their side and life on our side. All right. So I want to go back to Baruch 4 real quick and um, read. It says, verse 14, Baruch 4 and 14. Let them that dwell about Zion come and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting have brought upon them. So we supposed to remember the captivity. All right. We, we, we've been going away from our identity for a long time. And the purpose of us waking up now is the Lord wanting us to remember why we are in captivity. Once you understand why you're in captivity, then that's the start. Then you will understand the reason why you you have gone through rough times. All right. Your, your generations after generations, you will understand the punishment that been laid upon us. So it says, let them that dwell about Zion come and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting have brought upon them for he that brought a nation upon them from far a shameless nation and of a strange language who neither reverence old men nor pity child these were carried away that these were carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone desolate without daughters but what can i help you for he that brought these plagues upon you 
will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. So when you see Jake getting gunned down in the street, Jake on drugs, Drake gang banging, and so on, all right, you should re you should see understand why now these plagues are on us. The Most High did this to us. It wasn't because Esau was uh, in his power, his will. It was the Most High that was with Esau and stripping us from our power to bring us into this captivity. And we've been here ever since. And it's about time, you know, that we get up out of here. It's time, you know. For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. This is why we don't go out and be carnal. Picking up guns, stackpiling, and we don't need a black dollar. We don't need a black military militia group. All right? Because the Lord is the one that put these plagues upon us. He'll be the ones that will deliver us from the hands of our enemies. It says, go your way, O my children, which is sons. Go your way, O my sons. Go your way, for I am left desolate. I have put off the clothing of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. Be of good cheer, O my sons. Cry unto the Lord. And he will deliver you from the power of of the hand of your enemies for my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you and joy is come unto me from the holy one because of the mercy which he which which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our savior so there's a great savior coming okay and who is he coming to save the savior having came back for a second time all right, he haven't recovered the remnant of his people. So who is he coming for? Because of the because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but Yahweh will give you to me again with joy and gladness for, forever. So you damn right when we wake up to the fact that we're Israelite, we're happy and we're glad and we're proud. That's a good thing. Anytime we get a hold of something, E want to take it down. You know, verse 24, like as now the neighbors of Zion have sent your captivity, have seen your captivity, excuse me. So shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. So the most high is going to bring something great upon his people. You're going to be even more mad, all right, when the Most High give brothers their power, when Yahweh Shai actually return. He's going to establish his people to be those special people and above the rest of the people, all right? And right now, we haven't even received any glory. You know, if you mad now, you know, how much more are you going to be mad when that power come? There's nothing you can do about it. Verse 25, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh, for thou enemies have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. So where is the payback? Where is Esau going to get paid back for the things that he done to, to Jacob? Where's the payback? All right. My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh. And we suffer patiently for thou enemies have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as the flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my sons, and cry unto Yahweh, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so be in return, seek him ten times more. So that lets you know the Israelites are still here. And what happened was it was blindness. All right. Throughout the time, you know, all these years, decades after decades, you know, we lost who we was as a people. We lost our identity. You know, within the family, you wasn't taught of who the true and living power is. You wasn't taught to keep any laws and commandments. You wasn't taught to know the name of the Lord. 
So it was our minds to go astray. And that's why it says, so being returned, seek him 10 times more. This is important. It says, for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with salvation. All right. So we are the biblical Hebrew Israelites and salvation is coming to us. All right. To the chosen, which are the elect of the elect. All right. Because the Lord is not dealing with all Israel today. So, you know, I hope, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I uh, want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.